Hey guys, hope you're all doing good. Recently, I came across this post on Facebook about how to pour juice correctly. Uh, this is actually uh, quite interesting because if you have a box like this, a juice box like this, and say that the outlet is towards the bottom of the box and if you're pouring the juice like this, then there's going to be a lot of spillage because the fluid is just going to shake around a lot. On the other hand, if you rotate the box like this and if you pour juice like this, it's going to come out smoothly. So we decided to test this out and also run a simulation to see why this happens. So I have a small glass here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first pour juice like this and then uh, pour it like this. And we have a slow-mo camera, which is going to record everything. All right, so let's get started. As you can see in this video, when the outflow is placed towards the bottom of the box, the juice actually fluctuates quite a bit. Whereas if the outlet is actually towards the top of the box, this does not happen. Clearly, in the first case, there is a frequency that is associated with this disturbance. And we actually later found out that this frequency is directly proportional to the rate at which the bubble gets formed and collapsed. Now, in order to investigate further, we decided to do a computational study. We first used CAD to build simplified models of the juice box and then we used computational fluid dynamics to set up this simulation. Now in this case we have two phases involved, air and juice. So we are going to be using the volume of fluid methodology to track the interface. So in scenario one, when the juice is actually coming outside the box, uh, there's going to be more volume available for air and hence that's going to cause a decrease in density and as well as pressure. So you have a low pressure region there and outside you have atmospheric pressure. Now for this particular condition, there is going to be a flow rate, all right? But the thing is, the system becomes dynamic when the juice actually entrains external air. Notice how the air actually comes in from the top of the outlet and it forms bubbles, which actually lead to the low pressure region. This is going to take some time, all right? And there's a frequency that is associated with this. When the pocket of air reaches the low pressure region, the pressure there is going to be increased slightly and this puts the system in a new state and is going to result in a different flow rate. Now this process is going to repeat and that is why the flow rate changes continuously and we see that the fluid actually moves around. Now in case of scenario 2, when the juice comes out, we are going to have a low pressure region but this low pressure can be compensated by the external air quite easily because the air has a nice path to the low pressure region and is not disturbed by the fluid and hence any differences in pressure can be compensated quite easily and the flow rate does not change a lot i hope through this video you learned the right way to pour juice but more importantly we hope that you learned a little bit about fluid dynamics thanks for watching this video and we'll see you guys in the next one bye